I promise. There's gonna be a war. And you know how it ends. We have to stop it here, in France. Change the future. Is such a thing even possible? Since when were you not up for a challenge? We have to trust in this. Yes, I do. And at this I will. Claire? I'm back. And I am so grateful. What's your most expensive bottle of champagne? $700. What's your most expensive bottle of wine? $900. Can we get both? Do you mean all your clients online? That's not something that I want to make into a career, but I actually enjoy it. I'm curious. Show me. He calls me Ashley. Ashley. Should I be Chelsea? You can be whoever you want to be. Are you okay? I'm fine. I got it under control. This kind of work ever make you scared? No. After weeks of campaigning on the road, Tony Blair and his family finally strolled the few hundred yards to the polling station this election day morning. Amongst the Labour faithful up and down the country, there is an enormous sense of pride in Mr Blair's achievements and the confidence that he is about to become the youngest Prime Minister this century. Have you voted yet, Mr Crawford? Yes, ma'am. It was there when they opened. First to nine, seven o'clock. I don't mind telling you, it wasn't for Mr. Blair. You're not a modernizer, then? Certainly not. We're in danger of losing too much that is good about this country as it is. There is a growing sense of excitement. Mm. I envy you being able to vote. Not the actual ticking of the box, although it would be... Well, it would be nice to experience that once, but... The sheer joy of being partial. Yes. Of course, one forgets that a sovereign. You're not entitled to vote. No. Still, you won't catch me feeling sorry for you. You might not be allowed to vote, ma'am. <laughs> but it is your government. Yes. I suppose that is some consolation. 